All right, so we want to do 11.6 number 7, which says we've got 2 thirds raised to the x squared is 16 over 81. How do I do this? What could I start with? Can I reduce 16 over 81 first? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. 4 over 9. 4 over 9, what? No, thirds. Okay. So what are you canceling to get 4 over 9? Oh, I don't see. Oh, you know. Okay, so if you're thinking, okay, this is, you're not thinking this is 4 ninths, you're thinking this thing is 4 ninths squared. That's true. Oh, and then... Close. So four ninths is two thirds what it? Squared, right? Oh my goodness. So this is two thirds squared squared. What do I do with the powers when they're like this? Uh, no, multiply. First. Multiply. It turns out that it doesn't matter, right? Because it's twos. So this is 2 thirds to the 4th. The right answer was multiply them, but it doesn't matter in this case. Okay, so now what? I have a question. Wouldn't you just square root that one? I mean, you kind of did, but... I'd like to take like an x squared root of things, right? Mm -hmm. If I try to square root this stuff, it's not going to undo the square on that x. That's what you're thinking. Um, it's going to divide that thing by 2, right? right. It's uh, not going to, yeah, the, that, that square is one level too high for me to get at it with a square root right now. Yeah. But now that I've got things in this form, what could I say? The bases are the same. The x squared is equal to 4. Yeah, the bases are the same. So this says x squared has to be 4. If I wanted to think about a step that takes me from here to here, what is it? What's a function? Logging. Yeah, I'm logging everything base two thirds. two thirds. You guys see that? If I wanted to think about applying a function to both sides, I could think about applying the log two thirds to both sides. But I'm okay with you guys just saying, oh, the bases are the same, so the exponents must agree. Right. Those are the same thing in some sense. So now that I've got x squared is four, what do I do? Square root four. Oh yeah, this is like a chapter seven or something problem, right? So I should get plus or minus plus minus two. So you're doing plus minus square root to both sides, right? Which is not really a function. Okay with that. So I got x is plus or minus 2. Does it both work? It should. It should, hopefully. Should I check that? Yeah. Maybe. How do I check that? You want to plug it in. Yeah, I should plug them in for x. Okay, so if I plug 2 in for x, I get 2 thirds to the 2 squared. What's 2 squared? 4. Oh, so I get 2 thirds to the 4. That's 2 thirds to the 4, right? Okay, yeah. so I'm good with the positive one. How about the negative one? It works too. Yeah, because negative squared. Negative squared is going to be positive. Yeah, negative squared is a positive, right? Okay, so good. They both work. Check, check. Right. I'm not so concerned on these, whether you do the checks. That's not an absolutely necessary step, but it's a good idea. 